Hello everyone. Immigration is becoming a major problem in UK and then the government is discussing how to control this immigration. What are the areas they are going to control this immigration? What are the possible things they will cut in the future? That is in 2023, what are the immigration controls they will going to put in place as per the current discussion? That is the main topic of this video. This will help mainly international students who are planning to come to UK or people who are waiting to or people who are willing to come to or kind of they are uh, preparing themselves to come to UK for work and also uh, uh, other other type of people like asylum seekers this will be helpful for them welcome channel sundar ayapan hope you like this video please like comment and subscribe my videos also please visit my other videos in my channel related to uk and information related to uk which will be definitely helpful for you let's get into the video so immigration is becoming a major problem in the uk government because lot of a lot of parties are discussing about that one party is saying that we need more people uh, in specific areas to come and work because uh, we don't have local people who are available to work in those areas in some some places what they're saying is you will bring lot of people from other countries and they are reducing the uh, that is a pay pay that is pay rate because they are willing to work because they have to survive they have to survive in this uk so they're willing to work very low wages that also brings down the wage for local people so a lot of debates going on the main reason for this topic coming up now is the 2022 immigration status has been released so more than half a million people subtracting the people who already left uk even those who are illegally staying they might have left on their own or deported or uk citizens going out of uk for work for other countries subtracting those emigrated and then those who are immigrated the number of people who came to uk in 2022 is around half a million people that's a more than double the amount compared to the 2021 so what the government is saying that this is unsustainable rate of uh, increase so most of them are coming in legal route but there are lot of routes where there is putting uh, com people coming from other countries putting pressure on the system like nhs housing and then other areas so the government is saying that uh, in 2022 around 70000 people uh, crossed the uh, english channel that is from france to uk through small boats and asking to and coming to uk for asking asylum so you have to process them their application and then decide whether they are valid application whether they are coming from a unsafe country those things has to be decided until then they have to be not left alone or they will not be asked to okay go and stay anywhere we'll come and find you nothing like that so what they will do is they will put them in some special accommodation and then they will be there and then all the costs are met by the government so this is putting lot of pressure and also when the government putting around 100 100 people or 200 people in a specific town or a city that area people is also not liking that they are also saying why are you choosing my place to put all these immigrants who are not invited to uk because of any valid visa because if you are given visa that means that you are invited to come to the uk or into invited to come to the country by the government but if you are coming on your own without any invitation the local people are saying that these people are coming from uh, many places without any invitation so they should not be uh, given or given accommodation in my town because they will create a law and order problem uh, because they they want to survive they will do anything they want those those kind of topics are being discussed in the uh, social media and other areas but however many people in those people uh, people coming from small boats crossing the english channel which is a very dangerous tri trip you might lose your life if something happens many people have lost their lives while crossing the english channel to uk so many people are coming from unsafe countries like syria some people are coming from countries where they feel their uh, personal uh, characters say status is not accepted by government because of that they will be persecuted that means they will be punished for their uh, being a lesbian gay or any other thing uh, of their own choice some governments don't allow so those people also coming in those boats so there is a, a kind of a, a mafia gang operating between uk and france kind of asking getting money from these people vulnerable people and then sending them in small boats so government want to stop that they they have working they are working along with the french counterparts in putting more controls and then stopping the boats coming from uh, france to uk so around 70000 people have reached uk in 2022 also the ukraine and russia war also created a problem in uk 
UK accepted people who are in Ukraine in a in a difficult situation they can come to UK and then we will be settling down temporarily with two years visa in a in a kind of a shared accommodation or in a kind of adopted model so where someone will share their own room and then the government will pay some money for them to keep the uh, Ukraine refugees after the things are settled down in Ukraine you can go back so that's also added pressure onto that. Initially, they thought it will be the war will be just for two months, three months. It will be over. Now it's more than eight months till it is continuing. So that's adding pressure to the uh, local people who have started adapting them because of the high cost of living crisis, energy prices, food prices. The government given money is not enough to accommodate those refugees. So these things also created a lot of pressure on the government. And the third area is students, student, international students. Uh, uh, too many people have come or they have got a lot of offers a lot of universities and uh, colleges offered a lot of places after pandemic in order to uh, gain more money from the international students because they pay more money local students will not pay that much money because local fees is set but international fees you can raise or you can reduce but uh, you can get a lot of money from international students so a lot of universities and colleges they have recruited or they have given admission to more number of international students to kind of to adjust their losses in during the pandemic in 2020 and 21. So 22 to 2022 brought in a lot of international students. Government also thinking this is also putting pressure where the jobs are taken by the students community, which is some people are very genuine students. Some people just come to UK as a student just to work and they're not putting their foot on st studying there or finishing the course. All these combination of things made the government to think, OK, let's put a strong a border control rules whereby we need only specific areas where people are required for jobs not asking everyone to come and find a job we will ask the people to come with a job offer which is already there but government is trying to narrow down that route then saying that specific sectors like care health care adult health care nursing these areas and then the farming sector need a lot of people so we will recruit uh, people for those work only not just give a, a two-year visa or a more now more uh, long-term visa and then create our own problem so this all these discussions are going so why i'm saying this if you are planning to come as a student in 2023 to uk think about your job prospects because of this uh, constrained job of uh, job jobs available because of the government is going to reduce the number and also going to put more conditions for the students that's one thing and then second thing is they will be allowed only to work on specific area where the need is there not just allow every student to work whatever they want which is the current situation they might say that okay uh, students in this area will be asked to go and work in a farm or work in a care home like might this might come i don't know so these things will happen the tier 2 visa may be made more rigorous with more conditions that might also happen so keep eye on uh, my channel i will put updates on what's happening and UK immigration status and the new visas. Hope this helps you. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.